Good morning, Rangers! Today is Friday, April 26, 2024. I'm Ramesa. And I'm Caroline. Welcome back to CTV. Our varsity baseball team has a game against Hightower today at Frankie from 7 to 8.30. Make sure to come out and support. Don't forget that we are on a pep rally schedule for the Powder Puff game today. Make sure to buy your tickets. They'll be sold during all lunches for $2. Theater is having their stow up at the CHS Black Box from 7 to 9 p.m. Attention seniors, be sure to fill out the form for the 2024 senior map before May 13th, 1159. And on that note, the last day to purchase senior sunset tickets is May 10th. Finally, go to the library course page, locate the Senior 23-24 media album, and submit photos of your senior year. These photos will be included in this year's send-off slideshow. Please submit school-appropriate photos. Good morning, Clemens Rangers. Let's look at Friday's weather. It will be another warm day with a high of 84 and a low just above room temperature at 74. The clouds currently over the Sugar Line area will persist for the rest of the day, but we shouldn't see any rain from there. And that was your Sugarland weather. This is MJ. The spring exam exemption is now open. Freshmen and sophomore can exempt up to three core classes. Juniors can exempt up to four core classes. And seniors can exempt all classes. Make sure to meet all the criteria and fill out the form by May 14th at 11.59. Do not forget to purchase your yearbook. The deadline is Wednesday, May 1st. To order a yearbook, go to www.jostens.com. Come join Coach Ford and Coach Kelm as they travel to Greece and Italy. RSVP for the May 9th Greece and Italy trip meeting. Now let's go to Ollie with World News. Hey Rangers, I'm Ollie and this is your World News for Friday. First off, according to AP News, the bill known as a ban on TikTok has passed Congress and been signed by President Joe Biden. Now the new legislation forces the Chinese co owner company ByteDance to sell its social media app TikTok within 12 months or the app will be banned in the United States. More than 170 million users in the United States could lose access to the app if ByteDance does not sell, but it is expected that ByteDance will fight the legitimacy of the bill. In Texas, according to the Texas Tribune, pro-Palestinian protests were held at the University of Texas at Austin, resulting in the arrest of at least 34 people. More than 500 students walked out of their classes to demand the University of Texas to divest from manufacturers that also supply weapons to Israel. Police and state troopers chased out the protesters and arrested many in the process for trespassing. Finally, according to ABC News, the Department of Transportation has announced it's rolling out of a new set of rules requiring airlines to refund for canceled or significantly delayed flights. A delay of more than three for domestic or more than six for international flights would require a refund of tickets for travelers. There will also be cash refunds required if bags are lost or delivered late. That was your World News for Friday, Rangers. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Ollie. Lastly, good luck to our Rangers competing at the UIL Regionals this weekend at Seven Lakes. That's all for today. I'm Caroline. And I'm Ramesa. Bye! Bye.